Hey, I'm Tommy, and this is the Prolite Orion 300, a 300 watt RGB WCL full color COB style light. So up until now, we've seen a lot of RGB WW, which is red, green, blue, white, and white. So there's a white chip in the daylight range and then a white chip in the tungsten range. The RGB WCL, that's red, green, blue, cyan, white, and lime. So it can achieve more accurate colors and more saturated colors across the spectrum, and it has a projection style attachment. Now there's already been a couple of really good reviews from other people on YouTube, and I'll have a couple of their videos linked in the description of this one. Instead, I'm gonna tell you what I think, uh, what, what I really appreciate about this light and about ProLight as a new contender in the lighting space. And I'll also tell you the things that I don't like about this light so far. First off, I've had this light for a month or so now, maybe almost two months. And in that time, uh, when I first got the light, I had a few suggestions that kind of bothered me as far as how the fan noise works. I would put the setting into silent mode so the fan would just never turn on. But then every time I cycled the power, it would forget that setting and then the fan, I'd have to reset that setting every time I turned the light on, which isn't the biggest inconvenience, but I mentioned it to them. And then within about a week, they had released a firmware update that fixed that. And since that time, they've released several more firmware updates that fixed and improved the interface in various different ways. And it's really easy to install the firmware updates. You just get a little flash drive, uh, load the flash drive with the firmware update, and then it takes about 60 to 90 seconds and then install the new firmware and you're done. And so they're continually adding and improving functionality of this light uh, with firmware, which I really appreciate. So they're listening to all of the people that have suggestions. The other thing I really like about this light is you can power it with VMAP batteries. It's just like if Aperture uh, came out with a 300X but was full color, this is the, how I would expect something like that to look and to operate. It's very handy. It's got a nice, it's got a nice little handle, which is really easy to grab onto. It comes with a clamp that you can use to attach it to a C stand. The interface is really easy to use. The knobs go from zero to hundred percent and they stop except for the intensity, which continually spins. So picking your color is really easy. The way, the way they have the color wheel set up with the saturation and the colors being their own independent knobs, it's actually a really satisfying and simple interface to use when you're picking a color. Oh, and of course I have the little projection attachment with a, a gobo on here and their gobo kit with their projection attachment has a ton of fantastic little gobos. It has, it has more gobos than I would ever use, but it's got a ton of creative options. I like that color. And so I was using this, uh, this kind of design here. This one's kind of fun. There we go. I kind of like that one. If you do get this light, which the light costs about $2,000, I recommend also getting the projection attachment. It's definitely the best selection of gobos I've seen come with a projection style attachment. We've also got a nice little iris. And iris also has the little attachments so you can use gobos with the iris. For example. So the iris works really well and it works with the gobos. And the same thing goes for, we've got a nice set of leafs which again, also still have the little attachment for attaching gobos to it. So it's very versatile, all the tools work together. Uh, something I don't like about it though, is this, um, this ratcheting handle, which works really well when you install it. Uh, it doesn't fit in the carrying case with the light if it's attached. So every time you take the light in and out of this little travel case, you have to you know, uninstall and reinstall this handle which I find really irritating and kind of, uh, it's just an inconvenience. So I find myself not even wanting to use it. So what I've done is I've just increased the tension in this little nut so it'll stay wherever I put it most of the time, which is a fine way to use it. Uh, it's just, I would like to, I wish I could leave that little ratcheting handle attached instead of having to unattach it in order to put it into the box. But that's super minor. It also comes with a reflector. I also really like how easy it is to pick a gel has a nice interface with a whole bunch of gels that you can just sc scroll through really quickly. There's also a mode where you can pick any of the combinations of how much intensity you want going to each color channel, which you would expect to have with a light like this, and it works fine. Now, because this is an RGBWCL light and it's got more, uh, the ability to achieve more accurate color combinations, what I found is when you have the light at 100% intensity and you pick any color temperature from between 2000 and 20,000 Kelvin, 
it's incredibly accurate. I was measuring plus or minus 50 points in any color temperature that I picked. And having that kind of accuracy is really incredible. I've never seen a light remain accurate, you know, beyond like 8,000 Kelvin. So the fact that this does that is really cool. Now, one thing that I also noticed is when you have the light not at 100% intensity, it seems to run a little bit warm. So say I have it at, you know, 10% intensity and the color temperature I have selected is 5,600 Kelvin. I was still measuring closer to like 4,000 Kelvin. Now I'm not worried about that because they've been releasing firmware updates constantly. So they've probably just been measuring it at 100% intensity. All that, all we have to do is let them know that hey, at the lower intensity levels, it runs warm. And then they'll patch it, give us the firmware, and then it can be more accurate again. Because I know that the light is capable of being extremely accurate because it currently is extremely accurate at 100% intensity. So they just have to work on the firmware for the accuracy of the Kelvin CCT uh, at the lower intensities, but it's already super accurate at 100% intensity. Now I took all the measurements at one meter away, and I'll throw these up on the screen now so you can pause it and take a screenshot or whatever and compare it to some of the other lights that I've measured in the past, if you wanna do that. But the way that I've personally been using this light is I've just been throwing it into silent mode because, oh, and by the way, it's in auto at 100% intensity right now. So it's spinning and the fan, even when it is spinning, is very, very quiet. Uh, usually I'm a real stickler for fan noise and anytime anything makes any fan noise, it bothers me, but this one's okay. I mean, my microphone is pointed basically at the light and you can, you can probably not even hear it. So the, the fan is very quiet. But what I've been doing is I've been throwing it into super silent mode. So the fan just never turns on. I've been sticking it in the back corner and then without any of the gobo attachments, I've been using it as a full color rim light, especially for my live streams. Because you don't need a rim light to you know blow out the intensity or anything, but I'm gonna show you what it kind of looks like. Now I've been using the, uh, like the lime and cyan colors a little bit more because you can get those super saturated colors with a light like this that you can't get with a regular RGB WW panel uh, or light. So here we go. So I've just been kind of using it like this. It's nice to have a really directional rim light that you can just use to splash a nice little bit of color uh, without it interfering anywhere else. And that's why I really like the projection attachment. It just, it works really well. but it also cuts a decent amount of output. So if you need more output, you know, you can go without the projection attachment. I mean, as you can see, it, it gets pretty darn bright. There, now that's the only light that I have on my background. If I turn it off, there we go. So that's the Prolet Orion. I really like it. I think it is a great value for what it offers because it's the only RGBWCL, sorry. Uh, the other one that's on the market would be Airy Orbiter. And that one's gonna cost you like $8,000. So if you don't need the Airy Orbiter, pick up the Prolet Orion. You're not gonna be disappointed. It does a lot of what the Orbiter does, but in an Aperture 300X form factor and it's really easy to use. If you wanna learn more about it, there's a link to it in the description of this video. And if you like videos about stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.